and welcome to Excel Video 277. I'm Nate Moore. I just signed a contract to speak for the Radiology Business Management Association at their fall conference in Phoenix in October. I'd love to see you there, and if I haven't spoken to your meeting lately, I'd love to do that as well. What we're going to do today is one more go to special trick, courtesy of my friend Rebecca, who taught me this in the Excel Users MGMA community. And the situation's this let's say I have some contract information here and I downloaded it from someplace and here's all my CPT codes for Aetna and the same CPT codes for Blue Cross, same again for Blue Choice. And this may go on for a long ways. If I want to do a VLOOKUP and look up Aetna and 99211 or if I want to do a pivot table and I need to fill in these blank cells, you could always copy and paste down and copy and paste down and copy and paste down. If you have two or three it's no big deal. If you have two or three hundred it's a huge deal and here's a quick shortcut to fix it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the data in column A that's where I want to go and go to special. I'm going to pick the blanks and click OK and then I'm going to do the equal sign, the up arrow and hold down control and hit enter. That fast. What Excel did was just take, hey, if it's blank, go up above and find what it is. And this one's blank, so go up above, copy down it and a copy down it and a copy down it. And okay, that one has information, so I'm going to come here. That's blank. Copy the one above it, copy the one above it, all the way down. Here's the steps. I listed them out over here. So we're going to, we'll just undo that and do it one more time. Select the area that you don't want to hold the whole spreadsheet. You're going to pick all kinds of crazy blanks. You don't want to do that. So let's come back up to the top and just get the blanks where we know we're going to fill. Go to special, find the blanks, equals the up arrow, control enter, and you're done. And then a slick way, if you've got a couple hundred blank lines in here and you want to do a pivot table or you want to be look up and you need this data what a slick way to solve it courtesy of Rebecca from Excel users I hope that video was helpful for you thanks for watching